Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Masawa here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to make a design similar to this LRHS chair design. So this is our glitter vinyl, but what we're going to create is we're going to do one that says Braden River Football. It'll say mom of whatever number you want. And then we also threw a little line of stones in there just to add something something a little extra to the design that's going to stand out a little more. But what we can also do with this one is the great thing is you're customizing as well. So you can obviously upcharge because it's a unique shirt for your customer that you make custom just for them. So what we're going to, the materials we're going to use in this, in this uh, tutorial here are a couple of our Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyls. So we have our burgundy, our silver, and our black. Now we're not sure if we're going to use the silver or black yeah, we're, I'm not sure if we're going to press it to a white shirt or a black shirt. Customer hasn't really told us yet, so we're going to see if they um, see if they let us know before we create this video. If not, we'll probably make it in a black just so it stands out a little bit more. But we are going to use all of our glitter heat transfer vinyl, and then we're also going to cut out the template in our sticky flock template material to be able to do the row of stones there. And also, I'm going to show you how to save some template material, which obviously saves you some money when we're creating it in our TRW Stone Wizard and Corel Draw and then bring it over to the Designer Edition software. So again, we're using the Silhouette Cameo Cutter, we're using the Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl and the Sticky Clock Template Material, all products that we have available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com, so definitely check that out. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to our computer and our program and go ahead and create this design so we can get it sent over to the Cameo to go ahead and cut. Okay, so now we're over here at our computer. We're going to go ahead and create the design. So the programs we're using here, we have the Corel Draw X5 and the TRW Stone Wizard version 1.14. Now the Stone Wizard is available. It is compatible with X4, X5, and X6, 32-bit and 64-bit versions. So it's compatible with a lot of a lot of the different versions of Corel to work with you. Now this is our Braden River football design. And now we used one of our unique uh, true type HTV true type fonts here to be able to layer so we're going to show you exactly how to do that as well so let's just go to our text tool here and we got our caps lock selected and we're just going to type out Braden River and if you hit the space bar a lot of a lot of people don't know if let's say I'm working with this square tool right here or the rectangle tool and I just hit the space bar that brings me back to my pick tool so you don't have to go all the way back up here and click on your pick tool then come over here and whatnot if you just hit the space bar it brings you back to your last one so that's just a quick trick real quick so let's say you were using your ellipse tool here and you had to draw a circle then you want to go back to your pick tool It'll hit space bar, it'll go back to your pick tool, hit space bar again, goes back to the ellipse tool again. So pretty cool, nice little shortcut so you don't have to keep going up to the corner each time. So that was a free trick right there for you. Free tip from the rhinestone world. But let's go ahead and go to our fonts and impact. We're going to select an impact font there. We got our Braden River spelt out. I'm going to drag, hold down my left drag, right click as I'm holding it down. That copies it. And now I'm going to go ahead and type in football, F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L. -L. Now with the football, I don't, now see, I, I'm so used to it sometimes as well. I went all the way up there to pick, click on the pick tool again where I didn't need to. So I got my football here. I'm going to go to my fonts again. Now this is a font that you can purchase on our website. It's called our TRW Zebra Bold. And we're going to go with the Zebra Bold with no boxes. So that's what I'm going to get right there off the start, okay? Now what I'm going to go is I'm going to go to the TRW Stone Wizard and I'm going to hit two color magic text and bam, now I got a two color design. So I want to get this, let's say I want it about nine and a half inches. So you can see, make sure that you highlight the entire design so you're moving both of them because look, there's two layers there, okay? Control Z as in zebra goes back, highlight, let's get this to, we can just go up here and move it real quick, let's go to... Uh, we're going to lock, lock it to keep it proportionate. Let's go 9.6. And we're at 9.6 now. Now this Braden River I want a little bit smaller, but I want it to kind of space out a little bit more like our sample is. So I'm going to put it to right there, and that's about 0.86 inches tall. Let's come over here, hit our text and spacing shape tool, and then we can drag this out. That'll give us that spacing there, just to, just to look different, a little bit unique. Hit the space bar, it goes back to our pick tool. 
and then we have our mom of so let's go ahead and text tool we're going to do mom of number 23 and i want to change that to the impact font as well so i'm over here in impact click on that and we are pretty much ready to go now so we got everything we need now now what i want to do is i want to get it into the right spot so let's go ahead and drag this a little bit bigger here and you can pick the size that you want it we can uh i would say if we put it right there that's going to look pretty nice now our overall design here is four inches by 9.6 inches nice size design there that's going to look good but now what i want to do like i did in this design is let's add a little row of stones because this is all going to be glitter vinyl which is going to look awesome but let's add some stones just to add another dimension to it so i'm going to add a little bit of spacing here and i'm going to go to my freehand tools over here or my draw pen tools and let's just do a two-point line okay so i picked my two-point line now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select right at the end here and i'm going to drag over if you hold the shift key watch see how it locks into to a perfect straight line Got my shift key, let go. There's my two point line. I'm going to go to the TRW Stone Wizard. We're going to go ahead and click on Place and Fill. And all I'm going to do is add stones to the path. So let's select a color. Doesn't matter right now. Let's just click on Cobalt. And we got a point two spacing. And we're going to go ahead and add stones to the path. So there's our stones right there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clear the paths. And now what we want to do is we want a second line of those. So no problem. Just highlight it, drag it down, right click, and that's set up perfect there. So you can see that's our stone. Now we're going to move this up a tiny bit there, get that nice and tight there. And we got the Braden Rivers looking good up top there. You know what? I, maybe a little too much spacing in the Braden River right there. So I'm going to go back to my edit, click on my shaping tool. I'm going to bring that lettering a little bit closer together and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to stretch them out this way so it makes the letters a little bit wider so there you go braden river football mom of number 23 so great looking design there you can see it's looking just like our design there and if you wanted to see exactly what it's going to look like again you can easily just change all of your um colors and everything for the mock-up so let's say we wanted these blacks you know what i want to do i want to show you how this design is going to look cool we, we know it's going to look great on a black shirt i'm going to show you how it can look cool on a white shirt as well so for the black here i'm actually going to hold shift and click on all my blacks so you can see i have all three of those selected and i'm going to go ahead and change those to a black glitter and then the orange here we're going to do, it doesn't matter, whatever color you want to do. We could do a hot pink. And then if we want it on the stones, I'm going to click one of them, select same color. So it selected all of them. And we can go to the TRW hot pink. So that's a pretty cool looking design right there. And that's something to where if we wanted to send a mock-up to our customer real quick, we can just go ahead and highlight that, click on mock-ups. Let's say we want to throw it on a white burnout shirt. It's going to drop it perfectly on that shirt for you. As soon as you enter your logo one time, it's going to place your logo right there for you. And when you zoom in, you can see now watch this. If I zoom in there, I can see that. If I click on my magic stones, now it's got that perfect stone look as well. Awesome looking design to be able to send over to your customers for a proof and say, hey, this is exactly what your shirt's going to look like. So let's go back to page one here. Now what we want to do is we want to color separate. So I'm going to show you what happens if we don't group them together or combine them and we go to our color separation so watch what's going to happen here if i go to my templates and i create trw magic templates this is what's going to happen it's going to create a template here here so it's creating a template for each one because they're individual objects and different colors so easy way to fix that all you do is let's say you want all the black on the same so all this black glitter we're going to keep on the same one right so we're going to ungroup them all let's click this black right here hold shift click on that black and then the black down here so you can see i got all the black selected now i'm going to come up here and go arrange combine okay so you can see what the combine did there it moved it and made it look a little weird no problem the reason why it did that you can easily just grab the letters here and i want to show you all this stuff because if you hit that button, combine button right there, and it, and it gets weird like that, you're going to be like, oh, man, what just happened? 
Well, that's why we want to create all of that in these videos to show you. So I'm going to go highlight the entire design and I'm going to convert the entire design to curves. Now it's all curves. So I can't edit this text anymore. You can see it's all nodes now, where before I could have still edited the text. So now it's all nodes. I click on the black here, hold shift, click on the A there, click on the F there. I go arrange, combine, see how it didn't move weird now because it wasn't worried about that editable true type font text. So now what I can do is I know that I want the rhinestones in one template. I want this pink in another template and I want all the black in the third template. Highlight it all. Now that I combined all those blacks, create TRW magic templates. There you go. You got three templates. Perfect. Okay. So now what we want to do, again, I'm just looking for ways to obviously save you guys money as far as materials and stuff as well. So watch this. If these are my three templates that I'm going to cut, this template right here, let's say we want to use the word soccer or golf or something smaller. Golf isn't going to fit perfect there or isn't necessarily always going to be the exact same size. So a way that you can make it so that's easy and save some money is watch this. I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to drag it down there and I'm just going to put them right next to each other. I'm going to drag this down to here, drag that up to here. And now see that right there, that is 10.1 inches wide. But now instead of it being like these other templates, let's look here, 4.7 inches tall. Now it's only 1.3 inches tall. So you just saved yourself three and a half inches of sticky flock of the template material because what we're going to do is because this is going to adjust anyway, they aren't always going to be that same height to fit perfectly. We're going to brush in these stones right here. You just take a pair of scissors, cut that, and then just manually place them in there. Perfect, depending on whatever design we're creating. So that's going to save you some template material, which obviously saves you some money and obviously makes it a lot easier for all the other designs you create, whether it's football, golf, soccer, tennis, band, anything else. Okay, pretty awesome. Now what we got to do is we need to just get this ready for the silhouette cameo. So obviously we know that we have three different templates here. We have our sticky flock. We have our black glitter heat transfer vinyl. And then here we have our pink or burgundy or whatever color we're using for the heat transfer vinyl. Okay. So a couple different ways you can do this as far as getting it over to the silhouette and cutting it. File like this, it isn't that many objects in it so this one's going to be pretty simple to bring over one thing you can do is if you highlight the entire design go arrange and combine see how it kind of whites it out a little bit now it's all still there but what it does instead of having all those uh, all those different um objects in there it just says curve on layer one so it's created basically as one layer right there for you. So the cool thing about that is when you bring it in the designer edition software as your SVG, it's not going to bog down the DE software as much. OK, so let's go ahead and highlight this design. We're going to go over here to export and we're going to call it BR football. Oh, BR football. And we're going to obviously export an SVG. And in the X SVG, we're going to go ahead and go to our, we can just go to our pictures here, BR football SVG, click on save. Exporting to SVG is finished. And now we're ready to open our Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software. So let's go ahead and open the Silhouette Studio and then we can go to cutting this. Now, obviously, I, I walked you through slow exactly how to do all this stuff to create this design. Once you're used to it, it's probably going to take you a minute, minute and a half at most. Because all you have to do is type it out, especially with the uh, Zebra True Type font that we offer that does provide the trapping method as well. So that's going to make it a whole lot easier for you to do this actual design. So, um, And then once you have it created, so for example, this, this part of the design, which is our template for the two strips, we just know when we make this design from now on that we want to make it that same width, which was about 9.6 inches, then these strips are going to work. So we never have to cut this part of the template again after this initial cut. We're only going to use uh, 1.3 inches tall by 9.8 inches wide or 10 inches wide of whatever it was with, of the sticky flock template material. Okay, so let's bring in here our Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and let's go ahead and go file open. 
and we have it open now let's go ahead and go to our computer here and we're going to look at our pictures so let's go computer and then we're going to go into our C drive and our users and let's go ahead and go to my pictures now obviously we're not seeing anything right now that's because it's looking for the silhouette studio files so on the file type we just need to go to SVG bam and look what shows up BR football let's go ahead and click on BR football click OK and watch this bam there it is so we got our cut one our cut two and our rhinestones if we go to our cut tool here and you can see all the cuts so those are all the cuts perfect for us we know everything is looking good there and watch what have watch what we can do here so when we on our now we're on the actual tool but see how easy it is to move this all around because it's not all broken into separate objects now what we do need to do obviously is we don't want to cut all this at the same time and we also I'm sure a couple of you have said already because I went to this cut page why didn't you mirror the heat transfer vinyl part of it so obviously we have to mirror that because we're going to mirror the heat transfer vinyl part and then the stone part honestly because of the stones the way it is right here we could mirror that as well it's not going to make a difference whether we mirror it or not it's going to be the exact same so let's go ahead and um, what we're going to do first is we have to ungroup it and we're probably going to have to actually break our release our compound path so what that did is that kind of hit it and now you're saying uh oh what just happened so we released the compound path which what that means is watch when I go to object and now when I go ahead and um, release the path here you can see we have everything there and now I'm going to ungroup it so you can see it's all one group but now that I click there I went ahead and ungrouped it so when I move this you're going to see that there now it's already got all the lines the lines are all ready to cut we're good to go we don't need to worry about that and what we can actually do if we want to we don't necessarily need these boxes around it either so you can still see it like this sticky flock we'll keep the boxes around on the heat transfer vinyl we can actually just trim it with some scissors get a nice cut on it so let's go ahead and highlight this entire design here and we're going to transform there it is I'm so used to Corel draw it's flipped horizontally so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this horizontally watch what's gonna happen now we're cut perfect so we're good to go we're ready to go ahead and send this to our cutter load our material and everything else so let's go ahead and load our material we'll, real quick into the silhouette cameo cutter and then we'll come back for this part okay so now we're over here at the silhouette cameo cutter and this is obviously the cutter that we have available on the website at rhinestoneworld.com and we're going to decide we decided i think we're going to use our silver and then our burgundy glitter heat transfer vinyls and we're going to go ahead and throw it on a black burnout shirt so what we want to do is obviously load our material now as you can see when we when we designed it there we're going to have three separate cuts we're going to have a cut for our sticky flash template material we're going to have a cut for our silver glitter and then we're going to have a cut for our burgundy glitter so first one we're going to go ahead and cut here is let's go ahead and cut our burgundy glitter first so with the burgundy glitter we're just going to load it obviously upside down we already mirrored it in the software so we want to get it loaded in there and we're just going to hit load media it's going to pull the material in a little bit and then we're going to lock down our right side there and i like to scan it up just a little bit to make sure so you can hit the down arrow to do that and then we are ready to go ahead and cut this so let's go ahead and send this go back over to our computer real quick and we're going to go ahead and send this file to our cutter all right so we're over here at the silhouette studio designer edition and what we want to do we have all three of our files here that we're going to cut but we want to just cut the football part of the design right now so very easy to do if you just go to your cut tools here and you can see I only have the football part selected so what I did is I just highlighted right here and did my cut there now on the bottom part right here you just want to make sure that those are set to no cut so once we're ready to cut we can just actually go over here to our cut go to 10 speed 10 thickness or blade at 6 with a double cut and we can go ahead and hit cut okay so as you can see it's cutting now 
And what we did is, is, as we showed you when we were sending it to the cutter here, we did a speed of 10, we did a pressure of 10, and then we also did a double cut feature. And our blade is set at six right now. So it's gonna take a minute here to cut, and we'll let it, go ahead and let this finish, and we'll just edit this out for you real quick and go to the weeding process. Okay, so the Cameo just finished cutting our burgundy glitter. We're gonna go ahead and click enter to unload it. And then what I do with the great thing about the Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl is what we can do is if we fold it, then you can find see exactly where your cuts are. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut directly along the line here, make sure I don't waste any material. And I'm gonna go ahead and weed this right here on the camera for you, show you how easy our glitter heat transfer vinyl weeds. So again, we did the two rotations here and we did a speed of 10, down force of 10, and our blade was set at a six. And this is the burgundy glitter. But you can see if I pull this off, how it's just pretty much weeding like butter here. So it's gonna come off very easy. And then the only difficult part, obviously, with your zebra fonts, we already got the whole outline done there. Your zebra fonts, you just need to find your spot as far as what you want to, which spot you want to take out. So if you, again, if you bend it a little bit, you can easily see all of your different spots. So, I mean, basically, if you wanted to, you could just bend it and weed it like this and just pull out each spot. Because when you bend it a little bit, it's a lot easier to see. But what I would do, I use an X-Acto knife. And it's just as easy. The, the big thing is just finding an angle in the lighting to be able to see exactly what you're taking out. So we're gonna take out the inside of the O here. And let's go ahead. And it's a little bit of a thicker material, which allows you to kind of bend it like this because some of the other glitter heat transfer vinyls out there, it's real hard to see your cut lines where with the glitter heat transfer vinyl that we have, if you just bend it a little bit, you can easily see that cut line and it isn't gonna affect your design. And the great thing is, is even with the Silhouette Cameo Cutter, which is an introductory, more craft cutter, you can see how good it cuts it. So we got our foot so far. There we go. And we don't have real great lighting in here. So when I have it on the table, a little bit harder to bend it and see. So that's why I'm just uh, showing you. You don't even really need a pick tool or X-Acto knife because you can see how easily I'm doing this here. As long as you have a cutter that's gonna, that's gonna cut it good for you and you have a good blade. And this is a fairly new blade that we have in our silhouette here. so. If you notice yours isn't cutting like the results we're getting here, then you may want to check your blade. You might have something um, kind of clogged up in the blade or your blade might be chipped a little bit or it's just time to replace your blade. And we have all the replacement blades on our website as well at the rhinestoneworld.com. But it looks like we are just about done with this part. Let's go ahead and get that, finish off this L right here. And let's hit this part of the L as well. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and get it up close to the camera here so you can see what I'm looking at. So see right here, we can actually see right there in the glitter vinyl how it changes a little bit. So when I pull that down, it's just going to weed right out. All right, so there's our football part of the design. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and load up our silver glitter exact same way. Drop this in. We're going to go ahead and hit load. Lock it down. I'm gonna pull this down just a tiny bit here. Again, just like I did with the last one. And actually, I'm gonna unload there. Look, I have a little dent in my material there, so I'm actually just gonna turn it around. We got that locked down. Drop it down a little bit, and we are all loaded up. Let's go ahead and send the next part of our design to the cutter here. All right, so now that we finished cutting the burgundy glitter, we're going to go ahead and cut the silver glitter. So again, very easy. We're just going to highlight the football part of the design here. Let's move it out of the way. 
and let's grab our silver glitter part of the design. We're going to move that up to the top here. Make sure it's within your red lines there so you get the complete cut. Now we're going to go to our cutting tool again. Now you can see the football part still selected, so I'm going to click cut on this one. Now it's going to cut all of that. I'm going to highlight the football part here, all of that, and I'm going to put that to no cut. So now it's only going to cut the Braden River, the zebra print, and then the mom of 23. Let's go ahead and go to our cut tools. We got again a speed of 10, a thickness of 10, blade at 6, and cut. Alright, so now we're cutting our glitter heat transfer vinyl here, and again, the exact same settings. We got our 10 speed, our 10 for our pressure or downforce, and we have a 6 for our, for our actual blade. Alright, so our silver glitter just finished here. Again, we're going to just hit enter and unload it. And we're going to fold it over fine where our cuts are. We can see that our cuts come down to there. So we want to trim this off, fold it over here. So we aren't going to be able to save quite as much material on this silver glitter, but we may, uh, actually I'm just going to go ahead and weave this. So let's grab it from the corner here. And we do have a little bit smaller text on this one, so you just have to be careful off the top here. This is where we have the Braden River. So you can see how I'm pulling this off the off the very top just to make sure none of the actual um, letters start pulling up and then I'm gonna work my way down a little bit here and at the very bottom remember we have the mom of number 23 so we can work that in there too now another thing is is when you're the great thing about the Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl and the, the way it weeds so good is when you're using a zebra font like this, when you're doing this part of the font, sometimes it's hard to tell if you missed something. So, for example, if we missed one of these spots in here, then we aren't going to really know about it. And we're going to have an issue when we go to uh, press that design because there's going to be a big blank spot where it's going to show the shirt through. So real important to have a glitter heat transfer vinyl that weeds nice and isn't going to miss those spots so as you can see as i'm pulling this off it is pretty much weeding perfect for us here and that's it we are good to go with our glitter silver there now we're just going to pull out the inside parts here so let's grab the inside of the mom inside of the of number sign and we had what was this 23 so that should weed right out perfect just like that we got the inside of the r inside of this r and look how easy this is weeding inside of the d there again this is cut with our silhouette cameo cutter that we have available on the website 269 dollars for this cutter and you basically have an entire business with all of our um, sticky flock template material, your heat press, all of our heat transfer vinyls, everything we offer on the website. So there we go. We got our Braden River football mom of number 23. Let's go ahead and trim this a little bit here. Trim it off to the side a little bit here. And I'm going to show you real quick exactly how this is going to line up and how awesome it's going to look. So we're going to press the silver first. Then we're going to put the burgundy on top after and check out how awesome that looks. Don't forget, we still got our stones to go in the middle here. And that's what we're going to go ahead and send to our cutter now. So let's grab our sticky flock template material. We're going to use our green sticky flock here. And this is our 12 inch sticky flock roll. It's a 12 inch by five yard roll. Let's go ahead and hit enter, load our material. We're going to line that up nice and lock it down load it through a little bit more there and we are ready to go all right so we just cut the silver glitter part we already cut the burgundy part now we're going to cut our sticky flock to get our actual rhinestone template so i'm going to grab the braden river part here we're going to move that out of the way and i'm just going to go ahead and take off the cut now so we'll go to no cut on that so right now nothing's cutting now i'm going to highlight the rhinestone sticky flock template part of the design. I'm going to move this up to the top here. I'm going to go ahead and hit cut. 
you can see that's cutting because you see all the red outlines around it. Let's go over here to our pen tool. We got our cut tool. We got a speed of 10, thickness of 10. Now remember, we have a thickness of 10 and a blade at 6, but this is a brand new blade and we're double cutting. So some of you make sure to test before you do a big cut because some of your thickness might be uh, 20 or 22, something like that, depending on your blade. As our blade starts to dull out a little bit, then we'll be moving up the thickness. But you'll see how easy it weeds as soon as this cut is done. So let's go ahead and hit cut and we're ready to go. Cut. All right, so our sticky flush just finished cutting. We're going to go ahead and hit enter to unload it. And we know this is a smaller template right here, but I'm going to show you with the Silhouette Cameo. A lot of people think that you can't cut the Sticky Flock template material with the Silhouette Cameo. Look at that. It missed one circle. So out of that entire design right there, we did perfect settings set at 10 for our speed, 10 for our downforce or pressure, and then six for our actual blade. But we are good to go, and we're going to go ahead and brush in our rhinestones for this design now. Alright, so we've got a workstation here. We're just going to go ahead and drop our template right on there. We're going to grab our Crystal AB stones here. We're going to dump our Crystal AB stones on, and let's go ahead and brush these in real quick. So I'm going to brush these in real quickly here. I'm going to show you. This is pretty simple. A lot of people will say that the sticky flock, it goes in so easy and it's so easy to work with. Well, you know what? I am done with this design. All of those are brushed in perfect already. So let's brush the excess ones off to the side. Everyone went in perfectly straight there. Brush those off to the side. And let's go ahead and grab our transfer tape here and pull these stones up so we can go ahead and get them ready. So, got a big piece of transfer tape here and we're going to go ahead and trim this to our design. So, let's just go ahead and we don't want to waste too much of our of our hot fix tape. And we can set it right there. Trim a little bit of that off. Drop our hot fix tape down right on top of it and just go over it with our hand there real easy. And let's go ahead and pull up. And we are all done. So now we actually, the great part about this is we have this template now forever. So this template, we can make 5,000 shirts out of this if we want. As many as you want, as many transfers as you want, just pull it off your workstation here. Throw it onto the back of some hot fix tape and now you have it stored all right and then here is our completed transfer so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get ready to uh, press this design and show you a finished product all right so we're over here at our heat press now again this is one of our red presses this is our uh, 15 by 15 red press we have available on the website as well as well at the rhinestoneworld.com so let's go ahead and line our shirt up here so we are using one of our burnout shirts here, and we're using the black burnout. This is a large shirt here. Let's go ahead and line everything up here perfectly first. Got everything lined up great. Let's go ahead and do a little pre-press, and we're going to do about a four to five second pre-press there real quick. And now we're going to get our design started. So what we want to do is we're going to start with our silver glitter. Then we're going to go to our burgundy glitter. Then we're going to go to our rhinestones. So you always want to press the rhinestones last. So we got Braden River here, mom of number 23. That's all looking awesome. Now on this initial press, all we want to do is we want to get this material to tack down to the shirt just to get some type of, some type of bond to the actual shirt. And then we're going to layer that second color on top. You don't want to press it too long because you don't want any of the material to shrink at all. So we got our Braden River. Mom of number 23, that looks good. We're lined up good there. I'm just eyeballing this one. When you do this long enough, you can uh, pretty much eyeball it. You, every shirt you have is always going to be a little bit off. So don't worry about it too much. Don't spend too much time on that. So I'm just going to go about five seconds here. And I'm going to pull this up. Great thing about the glitter vinyl here how easy it pulls off 
and being a hot peel like this. So we're done with our first layer. Now we're going to line up our burgundy. So we have our little bit of our trapping method here. So the burgundy is going to line up perfectly for us. And again, your shirt's always going to move a little bit. So the great thing is when you're working with it like this, you can put this down and then kind of move your shirt around to fit it perfect. So it looks like we're good to go already. That was easy. Now we always want to put our sheet over, our cover sheet over as well once because we did have some of our glitter vinyl exposed right there. Now we're going to go for about a full 12 seconds and we're at about 310 degrees and we're going for our full 10 to 15 seconds is recommended. We're going to go for about 12 seconds here. And we're going to go ahead and pull that up. Again, you can hot peel it very easy. Pull this off. That's looking perfect right there. Looking awesome so far. Now we're going to bring over our little bonus feature to this design, our stones. And again, the way that we saved some of our sticky flock is putting the two strips next to each other like this. So just grab a pair of scissors. You can cut right down it right there. I'm going to pull the first one off and we are going to line it up directly across the bottom right there. So that one is looking perfect there. And then we're going to grab the second one here. Pull that off and line that directly across the top right here. And that is looking perfect. So we're good on our stones. We want to put our cover sheet back on top again because we do have some of our glitter exposed there. Cover sheet on top. Now we're going to go for our full 15 seconds. You do want to make sure that you get your stones heated. Now I did increase the heat of our heat press here a little bit. So I bumped it up to 335 degrees and we're going to do that full 12 to 15 seconds here. Pull it off. Come back to our design. Look at that. It should not be this easy. And we are good to go. We got ourselves a finished design. Look at how awesome that looks. So we got our Braden River football, mom of number 23, our crystal AB stones. We're going to go outside. We're going to show you what this looks like outside as well because it's going to jump off this shirt with all the glitter and the rhinestones combined on this. All right, so this is the shirt that we just made, Braden River Football Mom of number 23. You can see with the stones on it, the glitter heat transfer vinyl, how awesome this looks. So again, our Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl, burgundy and silver, and then our crystal AB stones. But you can see how awesome this is when it hits the sun and the different dimensions, the different look it gets. So what we would have done for this design if we wanted to use a white shirt it is where we use the silver glitter, we would have just used the black glitter. So you can always mix it up, use it for different color shirts. All right, so this is our finished product here that we just showed you outside. Awesome custom shirt. We would sell this shirt anywhere from $30 to $35 probably, depending on the shirt style and because you're getting that custom number or name on it. So you could even have it say Braden River Football Mom of Jackson or uh, Cheerleader Mom of Madison. Anything you want, you can cr create a custom design with the Caesar Heat Transfer Vinyl and just, it's basically what you type out in your program. So that's how easy it is to change it around. So just to review real quick, the different products we use, we use our Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl and this is our silver on top. We used the burgundy on the inside of the zebra pattern. We used our TRW True Type font that's a downloadable file on the website, goes right into your font library. And that's the TRW Zebra Bold that we used for the football part. And then we used our Crystal AB SS10 low lead stones for our kind of accent lines here. We also used our Silhouette Cameo and our Sticky Flock template material, our red heat press here and our cover sheet but everything that you saw us see that you saw us use in this video here today is available on our website at www.therhinestoneworld.com so definitely come check it out look at the other 550 tutorial videos we have on our youtube channel right here 
come check out the Facebook page. And in case you haven't seen, we are giving away one of the Silhouette Cameos on December 2nd, 2013. So again, right below this video, you'll see the link to that video to go ahead and enter that contest. We're gonna give away over $1,200 in prizes from the rhinestoneworld.com. So make sure to check that video out. Make sure to get entered into that. And you don't even have to buy anything. We're just gonna give away free stuff. We love you guys. So this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. If you have any questions, give us a call. You guys all have a great day.